Qu'est-ce que vous te même soir le matin Non, non, je veux la place. Et tu me demandes comment la joie. Qu'est-ce que vous te même soir le matin Assois-toi. Qu'est-ce que vous te le matin Tu n'as rien à réfléchir dans ta tête. Je ne réfléchis que toi. Chégué, Joe. Tu m'as chuté. Aïe, 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 aïe Hey fam, you all are welcome again to the official headquarters of Melogis TV. Hope you guys are doing great. Today we have a lot of gist thing to talk about. We are going to start by talking about this celebrity wedding that we have been avoiding for a very long time. But a lot of interest, a lot of things have caught our attention that we have to talk about this celebrity wedding between Sang Dilong and her husband Siriru. Now, a lot of images a lot of videos a lot of informations have been on the internet about the court case of Cyril but that is not what that has brought us here today to talk about the point here is that every woman wish to be happy so as a woman I tried as much as possible to put myself in her shoe to be in this situation because things like this happen every day it's just that she's a celebrity and that's why hers is on the internet and we are able to talk about it here if she wasn't a celebrity it wouldn't have been any news for us because these things happen every day and every day we see them around us now, what caught our attention is the fact that a lot of news have been on internet that Siri was found guilty of collecting the 38 million CFR from Madame Pasto and that he has been found guilty as and has been sentenced to 10 years imprisonment. So after that news as well has spread out on the internet, we have come again to see videos circulating on the internet showing cereal in a luxurious restaurant in Cameroon eating and enjoying himself. So a lot of controversy are out there about this same case because for sure all the blogs have been posting one and the same thing and we are not certain about which one is actually right or which one is actually wrong so now i'm not going to talk about siri or nilong if siri was right or nilong was being an opportunist or siri was being an opportunist i came across this post posted by our own instagram comedian called chisheriko he made a very important point on his instagram handle that i want to talk about it that is my focus for this issue he made a very important point to talk about it and this is what he had to say so this is a video that has been circulating and siri was spotted in cameroon in a luxurious restaurant eating and having fun right after news have been circulating on the internet that he has been sentenced to 10 years imprisonment and is already serving his jail terms in Kondengi. Now, Chi Sheriko writes, So he wrote, Well, I think Cameroon has emerged. Eh? We are now like Finland, where someone will be served 10 years imprisonment and the same day he will be free to drink, sit in restaurant, with friends at night if they give you 10 years imprisonment for real and you have that freedom won't you even run to nigeria the thing is it's high time we know that dillis has never posted anything original and anything true she copies from blogs and the only thing she creates that are hers are a bunch of lies that said I am highly disappointed in the following blogs 237 Showbiz, Napstar Radio, and Kesamek One. You guys are supposed to be professional blogs in this country to give what is a fact. The fact that you all joined in posting that fake rumor without any research, trusting a source like Dilis is a big shame and a disgrace to blogging in this country. You all are trashy and owe your followers an apology. You should take everything I said with a pinch of salt. 
So that was what Chin Sheriko wrote because when this news came out, a lot of blogs were posting it. So from his point of view, these blogs posted these things without even doing any research. But now my question is, if for real that video was done before the sentence or if that video was done after the sentence, it is not certain yet because the wife or the husband have not come out to make any official statement. So I just feel so bad after seeing this post, I was like, but if for real, it is true that all these things were Romo. I really feel so bad for the newly wedded bride. I just pray she is strong during this difficult time because it's really sincerely, it's really not easy on her side. That was that. I said, let me talk a little bit about that and just give you guys the short gist we have about that. <laughs> Welcome back from this 8 second short break. Hope you guys enjoyed that short piece of music. That music was done by Kosi and Coco Argentine. You guys remember? Yeah. The good news what we are talking about here too is that this song has hit 10 million views in 7 months as you can see on your screen. Congratulations to Kosi for hitting 10 million views. It's not easy to get this far on the media with the nature of the system that we have. You all know getting views on the internet is not that easy. So congratulations to Kosi and Coco Agenti. We wish that other artists, other vloggers, YouTubers, and other people who are putting in their effort on the media get this far. Not leaving out another good news for Kosi. Kosi has just released the cover of his new single and Cameroonians are sincerely anticipating waiting for that new single to be released. You guys know Kosi always give us jam without looking back. His jams are always hit songs. So we are all anticipating and waiting patiently for him to release that new single. So I'm going to drop the cover here for you guys to see what it looks like and to my honesty, I'm going to say this cover looks good, but I believe the single is going to be better than what the cover looks like. We are going on to the next thing of the day. Hope you keep watching and stay with me. We have a lot of good gist to talk about the industry. Let's keep going. Moving on to the next, we have Big Jig Baba. Big Jig Baba is an artist. He's a musician, Kumba Bon and Breath. So he had this message to give out to all Anglophone video directors, artists, and music producers. He penned down a very disturbing message to them, something that has been paining him for a very long time. And this is what that has been happening in the industry. Big G Baba is one artist. If he wants to call you out, he comes with his full bare chest without looking left nor right. So this is what Big G Baba said on this post that he took to his Facebook account and he wrote, Some Anglophone video directors, artists and music producers, you go to the Francophone site to do work for free, then come back in your zone and charge your own brothers and sisters high bills. What a function, stupid function. If after all this, you never make money, then you be boot man. You can't run away from reality. You feel say we don't know. Ha 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 ha. If they don't know, Big G, Big G Baba, no soon I go to mention Wuna names here. And nothing you can do about it. After all, I know fed the normal. <laughs> that's serious because it shows that in the industry our own anglophone brothers are the one mashing our own anglophone when i talk about mashing i mean you know when they the mash banga they depress them squeeze all year out of their bodies so it shows that these guys are really really feeling bad in the industry because their own anglophone brothers are the one not treating them well how can you be a video director or an artist or a producer 
And then when it comes to your own Anglophone brothers, you guys are charging them very high. But when you go to the Francophone zone, you charge them low. Non a melody stockamo. As you can see, it's big G. Na big G write them. I only bring her out for make a moon siam. The non a my handwriting that. These are the handwritings of Big G Baba. So if that's the case, it means that the industry itself, like we always say, it will be very difficult for this industry to actually grow to the maximum point that all of them are expecting to grow. It means that they will remain for that position where they did. They go tight for that position. How can you grow when you are biased to your own self, treating your own brothers in this manner? I don't have much to say about this because I know a lot of people who know this know more than me. Bet you guys know Melodies hardly know too much. The comment section is always your friend if this is the case. But I know Big G Baba is not the only artist that has come out to talk about things like this. Even when the issue of Mechu, Mechi and Renyo came up, other artists make mention of things like that that I'm going to show you some of it here for you guys to see. Other artists came out, other writers, blogs came out and post things like this. These are the things that are happening in the industry. They don't want collaboration. They don't want you to grow. They don't want to support you. They don't, in short, in short they don't share themselves out. They don't support each other, but they want to grow. No one is an island. You can't grow by mashing, by pressing others down. You can't grow by staying at the top. If you feel like staying at the top makes you better, then at the end of the day, you are not doing anything. This is some of the things we need to talk out so that our artists themselves can start realizing that some of the things they do are the things keeping them in one position. They can't grow. So Big G Baba just put out his mind out there. He just penned it down for people to see what is actually happening in the industry. The crisis is not only where we end, the serious crisis in the industry. Serious crisis in every entertainment industry in 237. Not be only for music industry, even for YouTubers, vloggers, social media influencers. Everywhere there is serious crisis. Now we are going to move on to the next. I'm going to show you guys something here. Last time I made a video about uh, Mechi. Mechi struggled so much to do collaboration with a lot of Cameroonian artists. I made a video here. Some of you watched it where Mr. Leo asked her for 5 million for collaboration. And Mr. Leo asked that money jokingly. But at the end of the day, Mr. Leo collected the, the song and never got back to her a lot of other artists like daphne kamani and a lot more of them showed interest but at the end disappointed her but she pinpoint on one particular artist that was um Renue. she said renew asked her to go to to go to the studio do the song sent to her and then her team and her will look at the song then they are going to get back to her and she was so pissed off and she was like, I have a bigger fan base like you, girl. I've been in this business before you. I have kind of like... So at the end of the day, when um, Renyo's manager came out to debunk all what she said, that when she contacted um, Renyo, Renyo directed her to, to contact the management. And the management were the ones that handled everything. And they bring out everything that the song was not there. She wanted them to sit together and write the song. And they asked her to go do the song and bring it back to them. At the end of the day, Mechi came out to apologize that she never made that video, that interview to bring down any of the girls. That she was just saying what was on her mind. That they should forgive her. But after that apology, there was still a lot, a lot, a lot. I mean, a lot of controversy about the apology. I told you guys in that video. Now, this music producer, Rim Life Immortal, took to his, took to his handle and wrote, "What she expressed is what has been going on in the industry. That's what Mechi was explaining." That it is exactly what is going on in the industry. Just like Big G Baba was saying, a lot of things happening with the Anglophone director, movie producers, and so on and so forth. So he said that is the same thing that has been going on. When it comes to collaboration, you approach an artist, they direct you to the managers. Reaching the managers, now they act as if you are seeking to collaborate with Drake or Nicki Minaj. They will even request for the song. 
you send a song next come a list of demands like you want to pay a bright price so management take your song and don't respond when you send the song reason why you did hear songs theft sometimes that's he was trying to say most of the time the management after you refer them to the management the management will even demand for your song and when you so send your songs to them sometimes they don't get back to you and at the end of the day you hear your song playing there was a time daphne was accused of that daphne was accused of using somebody's song that was forwarded to her for her to listen for a collaboration a lot of things like this have been happening to the industry but people have not been bringing it out so the industry is really really scattered and they are not united they are not willing to make it grow they are not willing to collaborate among themselves but every day they preach about support your own support your own this support your own thing need to start among themselves first the artists the producers everybody they need to start supporting themselves before we can support ourselves hope you guys enjoy this piece i've written you guys know i hardly know too much the comment section is your friend if there is anything on this video that needs to be adjusted you are free to tell me on the comment section and if you have any proposal any video you want us to talk about more or anything that has been happening you are free to tell me on the comment section and i will have a look into it Thank you all so much for watching. I sincerely appreciate your time. To my returning subscribers, I want to say thank you guys so much for always supporting me. And to those who are new to my channel, if this is your first time here, I want to say you're welcome. Feel at home. Look at what we do on this channel. And if you like what we are doing, you're free to click on that red subscription button. Turn on our post notifications so that when we upload new videos, you will be notified. You can share us and like the video. If this video is nice, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I hope I'm going to see you guys again on my next upload. Bye-bye. You got trouble, my money, yeah. You know they easy to reach, you. You know they easy to walk, oh. Make you ask me no she's, though. That she will go confirm, oh. I don't suffer.